Okay, uh, interesting that you brought up tone sucking. Not toe sucking, but tone sucking. Whenever uh, you you uh, patch together pedals this many, you know, there's there's always going to be tone sucking. Eh. The only solution there's there's many solutions. Eh. One is buy a pedal that's true bypass. Great. The problem with pedals that are usually the problem with pedals that are true bypass, they're expensive. There was an article before about pedal boards and about stomp boxes, because there are there are people who are who say na ano eh, uh, to ensure that there's not much tone sucking, you get pedals that are all true bypass. Generally, that's what uh, that's that's what said. But there's this guy. He's been making uh, pedal boards for for British rock star si Pete Cornish, and he said no. Uh, because if you have, if all your pedals are true bypass, it's it's kind of hard to explain because I'm not really that technical. Eh. It actually works against you eh, because you know, but it, it it I forgot what he said. Eh, but but what he said was, you don't really want all your pedals to be true bypass. Dahil what happens is if if all your if you have th- these many pedals, just me tone sucking. May effect din yung lahat ng effects mo through bypass. Eh. And I wish I could explain it to you because I'm not really I'm not really a tech head. Uh, another thing nga pala, um, there's a lot of uh, people who insist that you have to get boutique pedals, that you have to, you know, for, for the optimum sound, uh, get a true bypass pedal, whatever. And, and these people forget that a lot of the classic guitar tones made in history were made with equipment that were not true bypass. Perfect example, Jimi Hendrix. Don't tell me na, na ano na pangit yung tunog ni Hendrix because hindi true bypass yung effects niya. Because it has to do with, you know, the statement that you're making as a as a musician, as a as a player. Um, although I'm willing to bet na if Hendrix were still alive, he would probably investigate true bypass, you know, switching because you know it would mean lesser noise it would mean uh, your the output of your pickups would be the same whether you have a bunch of effects or if you're plugged straight into the board that's the main concern if you're going through all these effects even if they're not on your tone is affected me babawasan it from my experience nababawasan yung 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 bottom end but to be obsessed with getting all boutique pedals so you can get that perfect sound or whatever. You know, people like Hendrix, you know, what's a little bit of noise? It's rock and roll. Let's make something out of it. So, maski maingay yan, he will make something out of it. You know, it's not just a matter of playing notes. I mean, you know, we're dealing with, uh, this is an electric guitar. Um, half the sound is in the amplifier. You know, once you... When you put a pickup on a guitar, you already change the the nature of it, the tone of it. So if yung, yung you know pedals are basically extending that, it's a it's a different vocabulary, it's a different it's a different language, and you should think of it in that way. So for me, if you, even if there's a little bit of noise, magagamit parin yan eh. because we're electric guitar players. Okay, I won't go into detail uh, about the different pedals anymore. I will just say out loud, you know, what pedal I'm, I'm going to play. <laughs>